So, just got the first back from the tannery here, and uh, I'll open them up for y'all. Haven't looked inside, so I'm hoping I still got everything here. But uh, I'm sure everything will be. This is a very exciting time of the year, at least to me, when you finally get all your stuff back that you've been working so hard on. So let's take a look here. There they are, look at that. Okay. Got some canes. I wonder what the zip ties are on there for. Hmm. Guess for them to hang them up or something. Got some canes here. Lots of canes. More canes. More canes. <laughs> Alright. By the way, guys, all this fur you see here right now is uh, for sale. So if you guys are inter interested in buying any, just let me know. Put it down in the comments, or um, if you're not following my Instagram page, I recommend that you go check it out, and probably just DM me on there, and you can find out a lot. But, uh, there's a box. Let's see. Oh, it's lost the cane. Casualty. Oh, no. It's a nice, nice red there. Another one. Smaller one. I know y'all are just waiting to get to the coyotes, aren't you? The skunk. Another skunk. Two skunks here. Oh, it's kind of pretty. One more skunk. Ooh, look at that one. Man, I might just keep that one. That was pretty nice. <laughs> Alrighty. I think this is the smaller yurt. There's two yurts in here. Yeah, this one's already sold. There's that one. And here's this one. I wonder what happened. Sweet, guys. There we are. There's the first for the year. Let's hang Alrighty guys, so I just want to show you something here. Something that uh, I had this happen to me last year with a beaver. We left it in the shed too long. We didn't ship it out to the tannery in time. And these little bugs called grease bugs got to it. Ate the whole pelt, shredded it apart. And it just, all the fur basically fell out of the beaver. And it was a big beaver. And I mean, I worked pretty hard trying to get the beaver. It's just frustrating seeing an animal that you trap basically go to waste. Now, we did eat it, but, I mean, we couldn't save, save the pelt because of these bugs. And that's something that happened. That was my fault. That's something I did. And so this year, I was like, okay, well, I'll get my furs in sooner. That way, this doesn't happen again, right? Well, we got them in sooner. But I guess it just wasn't soon enough. You check out this coyote here. I mean, just, I mean, look at that. Bugs got, got to it and look. I mean, all the hair just fell out and it's just like, I mean, I can't really, I can't sell that to somebody. I mean, if somebody still wants it, I mean, I'll, I'll sell it to them. I might have to discount the price or something, but that's just frustrating seeing Something you've worked so hard for go to waste. So I mean, I can't stress enough 
when you get your animals and you have them pelts, make sure you get them in because things like this, it's just, it's not fun to open, uh, open up your furs, see all your furs, and then find this. And this isn't something Tannery did. I, I, it's, the blame is on me. I, I just, I didn't get them in fast enough. So, I mean, I can't stress that enough. These, um, I think they're called grease bugs. If you don't get your furs in in time, they will get to your furs, and it's, it's just what happens. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it at this point, but it's just frustrating. Now, luckily, it looks like all my other pelts are pretty good and are the way they should be, but uh, unfortunately, that coyote there, he just didn't quite make it. But besides that, I mean, all the furs turned out pretty good, so... Yeah. Right, you guys, so we're gonna get them all uh, hung up here and get a, hopefully get a nice mixer for you. And not just for you, I guess, but for myself. See who doesn't like the end of the year picture. Uh, there's that kite that got shredded there. I mean, that's a decent size you. Get all the kites and boxes here, space them out a bit, maybe. Man, these are soft. There's a nice white tip tail on there. This kind of stuff gets me excited, guys. I don't know about you guys, but getting your furs back from the end of the season, man, it's, it's rewarding. It honestly is very rewarding. Man, that's a nice box. Yeah, that's a really nice one. It's got a nice tip, white tip cam to it. Nice bright and orange. That must have been one I caught up in the mountain. These mountain mountain coons tend to be a lot darker. Which I think that's I love when it's like that dark like that. Compared to that. I mean that's a big difference you can see there. Like I said before guys, all this fur in here that's hanging up here. I even got some more coons from last year inside. I mean, all of it's for sale. If you guys are interested, let me know. We'll get it shipped out to you. That looks fairly good. Hopefully it shows up. All 
Alrighty guys, thanks for watching the video. I know that's not normally the kind of content I would put out, but um, I think a lot of, or not a lot of you, but I think some of you guys actually want to see something like that. So I uh, hope, hope a good bit of you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a like and uh, subscribe to the channel because, I mean, there's going to be more content. You guys know that. So uh, I'm looking forward to what the upcoming season has for not only hunting, but also trapping. So stay tuned to all that, guys. So turn the red subscribe button to gray. Make sure it says subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.